What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're back with a Sunday tournament session today. So for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and highlight one of the tournaments that we play that we make the deepest runs in. Uh, so our biggest buy-in on the schedule today is a $215 buy-in, 40K guaranteed tournament on BetMGM Michigan. So hoping to book a huge score today and continue to increase our bankroll. All right, so we are officially in the money here in the 109 at 10K. We have 166K average stack 352. Uh, so we have locked up a guaranteed payout of 163. And first place is 3,525. All right, Lojack open from Rogi will defend the big blind 87. Block top pair, 76K in the middle. We have 130 back. Going to be setting up for the check jam here, I think. And definitely gets uh, value from getting his like two over cards just to fold here. A lot of bad turn cards and such. So 95k in the middle. We're just gonna check jam this. And see the fold. Looks like we also just hit the pay jump here. Alright, here it is. Get a open. Time to rip it all in. Ace King suited. Back over to the opener, get called by ace queen, Wapa king, running pure guys. Cooler there for us, gets us a virtual double up. Uh, open jack 10 suit to get three bets. I'm going to call here. Or am I supposed to start folding actually out of position, even though this is a really good. I'm gonna call. And flop pretty big, open and straight draw. King, queen, six. That's here. I um, think I'm going to call instead of jamming, or what am I doing here? I uh, changed my mind. I'm going to jam here. Getting any fold equity is just great. Get called by queen, six. Hit the straight, though. Wow, what a absolute beautiful turn card there. We suck out with the jack, ten. And gets up to a 927k. All right, so hijack open, we three bet. Uh, if he jams here, once we have three bet, we'd have to call off the 23 big blinds. Kind of one of those weird spots uh, where I think there's value in three betting. And then if we get jammed on, not great. Um, let's see, exploit. I think I'm just going to check here. So it looks like I'm scared with an ace. A lot of times I'd bet this board, though. Um, just with the SPR solo, I think it's okay here when we've never played it any with this player. So looking like we have quote unquote queen or kings, queens, something like that. Uh, I'm gonna bet super small here though. Get called ace river. So 362 in the middle, we have 202 effective back. We'll sit here for a second and then jam. And get called by a pair of fours. And wow, the three aces are good. We're up to 1.2 million. Woo. All right, we're going to come in with the cold four bet here. I think stacks are just deep enough where I'm going to four bet. That's not all in. See a fold over to the three better here. And see the fold, so we take it down with the ace-king there. Uh, pick up a hand in a nice spot there, gets us up to 1.4 million. Open the button, jack-10 here, get called by the big blinds. Uh, board comes down, queen-jack-9, a pretty good check-back candidate here, middle pair, open a straight draw. Hit the straight on the turn. Very nice. Going to go ahead and bet half pot now. All right, decides to raise. So if we call, all right, I think I'm just gonna call and hope the board doesn't pair. Five of hearts, diamonds miss as well. So just calling here to keep the bluffs in. A uh, little over pot behind effective. And we're gonna chop it up. Both of us have a 10. 
All right, so we've made it to the final table here in the 109 at 10K, and we are coming in as the chip leader, 1.4 million. Uh, here are the payouts for the event again. So we've got a locked up $426, first place, 3,525. All right, cutoff open, we flat button. Big blind comes along as well. King at 9-8, so pretty good flat for us here. We flop top pair. Checks to us. Uh, Multi-way, I do want to bet here with our king. Back over to the cutoff fold, pick up nice pots. All right, see the open here from the small blind. Interesting that last time they min raised it, this time they three exit, so just something to keep in mind going forward here. Call the king deuce of clubs, flop the flush draw. And bets here. Um, I'm going to just call. A lot of times I would raise here, but we're the two biggest stacks. I don't want to just like stack off with the king high flush draw, I don't think. Pick up the, what would be the low end of a four liner here. Uh, bets half. I'm going to peel one more. I'm going to have to bluff some rivers if they, if we miss and they check. And ooh, we hit the straight. So a seven does beat us, but we do hit the low end of the straight. That's 368. Can I rate? I think I have to just call. And we are good versus Jack Four. All right, open five four diamonds here. Get called by Rogi. And going to bet the ace high flop. Uh, so we flat bottom pair, the couple back doors as well, and while wow, we turn one of them. Ooh. I think I'm going to set up a check jam, maybe, or I don't know, this is a weird spot. I wish we had about pot behind because I could just jam here, but I think it'd be too big to jam. So yeah, I'm going to take this check jam line. I think we're going to get a lot of folds here. He shouldn't have too many super strong hands here, I don't think. And it's just going to put him in a sick spot. And if we get called, we have equity here. Uh, and he ends up calling us ace eight. Rogi making the big call. And uh, my plan does not work. Can't get my bluff through. And it can't get there either. Nice hand. All right, open seven, eight here. Get called by the big blind. Open jams. Three heart board. We have top pair. I mean, it's a big jam to the pot, but here we go. Oh my gosh, he really just flopped the flush. Jeez, what a nightmare. All right, open the king ten of diamonds here. I get called by the big blinds to bet here, king six three. All right, get raised here. Um, expect him to jam ace, king pre, king queen, king jack. That's what we're mainly worried about. Really dry boards, so I don't think we want to just jam here. We're just going to keep some bluffs in. Obviously, really only action killing cards in ace, so we'll just call here. Eight of clubs turn. Jams. I'm not folding top pair here, but this does not feel great. <laughs> Flop two pair. Oh, my goodness. What a absolute nightmare. So we're in the chip lead almost twice of second place with six to go, and we end up being out in six. So, oh my gosh. There's been so many tournaments lately where we get in these spots where like first or second in chips at the final table, and we bust like sixth or seventh. Extremely tilting, but uh, oh, going to be out in six, four, seven, thirty-three. Really, really disappointing with that one. That's gonna be the end of today's tournament session. So we ended up playing a total of 12 entries, 1,114 in buy-ins, 1,117 caches for the massive profit of $3 on the day. Uh, made a final table run there. We got knocked out in six, extremely disappointing finish there as we were a pretty big chip leader with six to go. And then going out sixth was pretty unlikely and unfortunate. So you guys love to give me some feedback on that 5-4 diamonds bluff we ran, if you think it was good or if you think it was bad. Um, we went for it, didn't work out. So uh, if you guys enjoyed today's vlog and are watching on YouTube, please be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you ever want to know my live streaming schedule on Twitch, I post that every Monday morning at 9 Eastern Standard Time on the schedule tab.